sometimes you hurt your quads because it and it sucks when it happens so that was one of the biggest reasons why i wanted to make the u-ball was to help me fix those areas so let me show you how you can do it as well the biggest thing to use since this is one of the strongest and thickest muscles you can't really use a foam roller because it just doesn't dig in and get the spots you want you need to use a barbell sometimes without the any weights is good enough, but with some weights helps a lot. So, as I demonstrated in another video, when you use a little bit of weight, it kind of has some protection, where if you were to just drop it without the barbell, you have nothing to protect yourself with. But here, there's some protection. So, what you want to do is just simply put the barbell and the U-ball as so. And just slide it into any spot you want. Let the weight do the job. Typically, if you wanted to use any sort of uh, mobilization device, you wouldn't put the pressure you really need, but this does the work for you. And you just keep it there, contract and relax, contract, relax, hold it in the spot that you feel tender for a good 20 to 30 seconds, move away, 20 to 30 seconds, Move back to that same spot. And because the U ball is smooth, it allows you to really slide along to different spots throughout your quads. I have currently just 10 pounds to demonstrate, but you could easily put more. And again, because the weight is doing the work for you. You don't have to press down on it. You can if you'd like, but the weight does the work. You're just holding the U-ball and the barbell in place. What you can do as well is turn your entire foot as well to get some spots. It's all about the angle, really. And again, because it's so smooth, you can slide it up. My knee is right here. Be careful, but you could put it up to your knee and get all of those ligaments and tendons that insert into the knee or around the knee. I'm struggling to talk because it feels so good. The U-ball and the barbell are excellent to reach this high hip area, right where the, the femur meets the hip. Sometimes it's tough to get into that spot. Use this to get in there. There's so much going on up there, and you just want to put it as close as possible, right to that crease, right where everything meets, and you just lay it in there and let the weight do it. It may look like I'm holding it hard, but it's just hold it in place. And just find those spots, you kind of shimmy the, the barbell up and down, Use your leg to move it around as so as well. Excellent, excellent move to get into those spots right up here. So enough of that. You can, you don't happen to have one, or you want to use it in the comfort of your home. This is good enough as well because you can hold the ball, the U ball, like so, and put it on those same spots and press down. You won't feel the same amount of deep pressure as you would with a barbell, but you can still get that inner inner quad going against the grain, going with it. Straighten your leg out, same thing. Again, you won't feel that same depth, but it still feels pretty good. That feels really good, actually. Use the edge as well to scrape away those gnarly bits. Use these, the edges and corner as well, all around the entire knee, especially on the top part, that meaty part of your knee, where your quad and knees are, and kind of scrape it like so. This feels amazing, especially after you have good workout helps break up all that scar tissue. 
feels nice.